Hey there, Heather Boyd Wire here, and today we're going to make these super cool glass pendants. Now, this is a specialty project. You actually need a special glass grinder, and uh, the reason I had the grinder is because I used to do stained glass jewelry, so I would use uh, the uh, grinder bit to do little pendants and I also before that I was making soldered uh, stained glass pendants. So what you're going to need for this project is a round form can be a ring cone or a pill bottle, flat pliers, round pliers, cutters, your glass bobble and 20 gauge wire. So this is the glass grinder and I have a special bit there. I'll link it up below where to buy it. And you just put the glass, you adjust the height. You have to put water in the machine and a little sponge so it won't break the glass. We'll just turn it on and grind around the edge. So here is the finished glass piece with a little groove in it. So once you've done the groove in your glass, you're going to take your wire, the 20 gauge wire, and just do a little bend at a right angle a couple inches from the top. You're going to get your round form and just create your circle before you put it on the glass because you want it to already be round. Go a little beyond the circle like that and then we're going to take your glass bobble with the groove and actually fit this wire into the groove. You'll see it fits right inside there. Try to center it so wherever you think the top is just center this where you where it looks best because the the bobble might be a little bit uneven and you're just going to hold it in there and then bring this around. So you're just going to do a little loop around the top. You'll see the wires fit right in the groove there. And then you're going to give it a little clip. Okay. And you can just give the top part a little kind of bend like that. And then squeeze it a little more so it goes right into the groove. And then to make the loop at the top, if you're not adding a jump ring, just do it perpendicular. If you're adding a jump ring, make the little loop a parallel to the, to the glass. And then you're going to just form your loop like that. Okay. And then get your flat pliers, hold it, wind it around a few times. Okay. How you like it. You can make it fancy or not. You can even add like a little spiral to the front if you want to make it super fancy and then just pinch the end in a little bit. And there you have your glass groove pendant. So thanks so much for watching the video. Give it a big thumbs up if you like it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for lots more DIY wire art and jewelry videos. Hit the notification bell to be notified when I post new videos and when I go live. And also be sure to join my Facebook group the Wire Art and Jewelry Makers Club, where you can share photos of your wire art creations and be inspired by others. See you the next time.